All right, technology stocks are back on track. Let's talk about it now with Brad McMillan, Chief Investment Officer at Commonwealth Financial Network. So Brad, NVIDIA, Advanced Micro Devices, Micron Technology were among the biggest movers in the last trading session. Uh, but we've, we've had a, a few tech sell-offs in the past two months. So how would you characterize the tech sector right now? Right now, if you look big picture, the tech sector is fairly valued. I think for most stocks, you can actually see that kind of a pullback as a buying opportunity. And clearly, that's what the market is saying about, you know, a number of those. Well, and anytime we've seen a pullback, not just in the tech sector, but the broader markets, I mean, the market kind of snaps back the next day. So what does that tell you, just the resilience of this market? I think resilience is exactly the right word. You know, we've seen a tremendous amount of bad news. We've seen economic bad news. We've seen political bad news. And at the same time, the market keeps rising. That says to me that there's a tremendous demand for assets like stocks, and that's not going to change unless something fundamental shifts. But aside from the political uncertainty and, and you know, lower than expected economic data points, we have a pretty hawkish Fed. We saw that in the minutes report. Oil prices are falling, yet stocks are flirting with record highs. So the market seems to be shrugging off a lot of the factors that you would think would cause it to drop. Again, that brings us back to resilience. That brings us back to demand. But let's take one point in particular. I think your point about the Fed is worth a little bit more thought. Because what the Fed is doing is they're raising rates, but the reason they're doing it is they see the economy growing. In the early in the rate rise cycle, that's actually been good for stocks. So I think that's more of a tailwind than a headwind at this point. So with that thesis, I mean, what sectors are you looking at for the second half of 2017? Well, we're seeing growth certainly continue. I think financials are going to benefit. We saw interest rates pull back, but then bounce. I think financials are going to continue to benefit from the widening of the interest rate spread between short and long term. I think consumer discretionary, there's been a lot of bad news about retail. There's been a lot of bad news about spending. But the point is, people can spend and the confidence is such that they will. I think both of those sectors are worth a look. All right, Brad McMillan, we'll leave it there from Commonwealth Financial Network. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Scott. All right, I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.